Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well and keeping occupied during this difficult time. Now today, I want to look at an operating system that can be installed on both your PC and your Raspberry Pi. And that operating system is Endless OS. It's a Debian-based Linux distribution with a custom desktop environment based on GNOME. Now it's different from most other Linux distributions in that the root file system of Endless OS is read-only. This allows the system to easily and continuously be updated without the need of a system upgrade or reinstall after a major release. So, Endless OS provides two versions of the Linus distribution, a basic version of about 2GB and a full version of about 16GB. The only difference between these two versions is that in the full version more than 100 extra applications will be pre-installed. With the basic version you will be able to download these applications from the App Center. In this review I test the basic version. So, to install Endless OS, head on over to their website and click on Download File. Links in the description. Now, like I mentioned previously, you've got option of a 12 gig version or a 2 gig version. Now, I'm going to download the 2 gig version. So, this will basically download a torrent file. And a torrent file is an actual link to the file that you need to download. And to download this file, you're going to need a torrent downloader. And I'm going to be using MicroTorrent. Again, all links in the description. Okay, so the torrent file has been downloaded to my desktop. So I right click and choose open with MicroTorrent, which I downloaded earlier. Okay, so once it's downloaded, we're going to use our Pi Imager to flash it onto our SD card. Again, links in the description. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on choose OS and scroll down to erase format memory card. So we're making sure we've got a clean install. Next, I click on choose SD card and make sure I select my 32 gigabyte card. Okay, so we have a blank slate. Okay, that. Click on erase and scroll down to use custom image. Navigate to where you downloaded the image of Endless OS and click OK. We then just choose our SD card and I'm selecting my 32 gigabyte card. And finally, we click on write and sit back and relax. So writing can take anywhere up to 10 minutes and then it will start verifying which can take the same amount of time. Now once it's complete you just pop it out of your computer and put it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. When you first boot it into your installed Endless OS system for the first time you will need to configure your language, keyboard settings, time zone and user information to finish the setup. Click accept and then you'll be prompted to enter your Wi-Fi password if you have one. Click on next and then you'll have an option to log into your social media accounts. Next you'll need to set up a username and password. Once done, click on Next. Once that's done, you arrive at a desktop that looks very similar to mobile operating systems like Android. The desktop doesn't have any traditional menu that we would use to search and start applications from. Instead, installed applications are shown on the desktop. So, at the top of the desktop, there is a downward arrow that opens a window, showing the date and some recommended stories. Below this downward arrow is a search field that can be used to search for documents, applications and settings. Now the sources used for this search can be configured in the settings menu. You can open the settings menu by clicking on your user icon in the bottom right corner. Ok so here we've got access to our Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth and we can change our background settings. So here's a quick background change. Next we can change how we get notifications and from what apps. We can change what apps are included in the search function. And as you can see you've got various other options and settings you can change. At the bottom of the desktop there is a traditional panel showing a few icons for network, sound and power management. The button in the bottom left hand corner can be used to switch between desktop and active applications. Now, Endless OS ships with Google Chrome as the default browser, LibreOffice as the Office Suite, and Rhythmbox to manage and play music. There's also a few applications we usually enjoy on the mobile operating systems like Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, Twitter. Clicking these icons opens up the web versions of these applications. Now, to get more icons, simply click on the bottom left icon and this will bring you to their App Store. And there's plenty to choose from here. Categories like learning, reference and news, gaming, learning to code, multimedia, work, utilities and development tools. Now the App Center has three tabs, explore, installed and updates. There's a handy search icon which makes it easy to find applications and games. The install tab lists all the installed programs with an uninstall button for the programs you have installed next to it. And the updates tab allows you to manually update single applications. There's also an option to turn off automatic updates. So guys, Endless Computers has managed to do something different with their Endless OS and their tablet-like desktop is very intuitive and easy to use. This GNU Linux distribution is well suited for people with little or no computer skills and technical knowledge and it's a good alternative to Google's Chrome OS. And best of all, it's on your Raspberry Pi. 